Well, over the past years, the International Eel Pout Festival, held annually on Minnesota's third largest lake, drew thousands of people to Walker. The cancellation of the festival shocked not only the community, but everyone else involved in the planning. Reporter Malak Katab has more on how the city is adjusting. The cancellation of the 41st annual International Eel Pout Festival left staff at Chase on the Lake in limbo. They already had the outdoor tent, the ice bar, and bands booked for the event. So after weeks of planning, they came up with an alternative plan. We still wanted to get find a way to get people to come to Walker for um, a weekend in February. So we decided that we would come up with our own um, event, uh, land-based event, so um, the Frozen Block Party was born. The onshore event will take place on 5th Street and the city of Walker is assisting Chase on the Lake to ensure everything is done on land. Walker City Councilor Gary Wilkening says the International Eel Pout Festival has always been an economic boom for Walker and this event will likely be the same. It's going to bring in people for your overnight stays and we're assuming that it's going to bring in people for your daily events and, and travel into Walker and see what's going on and they'll, they'll go shop in the stores hopefully and dine in some of the restaurants and that money spreads through the whole community all, all the rest of the winter. It's still uncertain whether the Eel Pout Festival will make a comeback in the future. You know, every event has its life cycle, and I think Eel Pout may have, have hit that, especially because of the way the, the conditions of the unpredictable ice conditions. And so to be able to do an event and, and bring it onshore and keep all of the activity going on on land, it just makes it much more secure going forward in the future. This whole area behind me will be closed off for the event, and organizers say their main focus is keeping the lake clean. The cleanup on Leech Lake is our number one priority. The lake itself is a great asset and you know we all are a part of this community, a part of this this uh, watershed. So in an effort to help clean that up, we are actually um, launching a program by Kuzi Save the Lake. Organizers are aware that just because the event is on land, the lake can still be affected by folks who want to come up to ice fish. A sanitation and garbage plan has been approved by the city council to ensure cleanup efforts once the event is over. Reporting in Walker, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. Organizers hope the Kuzi initiative will help maintain cleanup on the lake. All proceeds go towards Conservation Minnesota. The Frozen Block Party is a three-day event from February 21st to February 23rd. Koozies can be purchased online or at Chase on the Lake in Walker. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.